What's up everyone, my name is Harshal Mavani and take a look at that, we have new colors on board. <laughs> Hope you like them. And of course, continuing, we have inheritance in this video and we we'll, uh, this is a really big topic so we will try to have a modular approach for the same. We begin with a basic introduction and demonstration of the same and we will graduate on to more mature questions. Please remember that you can have many possible combinations for this topic. So I'll try to stick to the conceptual aspect and you have to try and carry out those combinations and see how the output varies with each question. So all of this in five minutes as usual. So let's get started guys. Now the idea of inheritance is simple yet powerful. Suppose you have a class, let's say class A. Now this class A has some code written which interests you. You're designing a new class and this code is, this code in particular is of interest to you. Suppose you want the class to be class B and you want this code over here. Instead of copy pasting that code, what we will do is we will use the concept of inheritance. We will make class B inherit from class A. And how do we do it? With the extends keyword. So we have class B extends A. Now by doing so, I have made sure that all of this code over here is as good as copy pasted over here. Now when I say all code, I have a small star which is conditions apply. So it's not exactly all of the code. It includes only fields that are public and protected. So all the public and protected code or fields is inherited, is inherited. We, all of the public protected fields are inherited. Take it. So all of the public and the protected fields are inherited inside your base class. So new term base class. So what exactly is the base class and the sub? Let's have a look. Our parent class, we will have our child class. From the previous example, this is A and this is B. Now this becomes the base class. This becomes the subclass. Alternatively, you can call this the superclass. Now in Java, the ancestor class of all classes you will ever write would be the object class, the object class. So this is the only class without any superclass. This is the most superclass you can ever get. So yeah, so all the classes that you ever will write or the classes that have been written in Java, they directly or indirectly inherit from the object class. This is also an interview question. Now, just keep that in mind and let's take a brief detour and talk about the types of inheritance in Java. First of all, we have single inheritance, very simple and sweet. First of all, we have single inheritance, very simple and sweet as we saw. So we have class A and we have class B. Of course, B inherits from A. So this is single inheritance. We have multi-level inheritance. So we have A over here, B and C down here. So this looks something like class C extends B and let me just write this down here. Class C extends B and class B extends A. So this is how this hierarchy looks like. And this is multi-level inheritance, multi-level inheritance. And of course we have hierarchical inheritance which looks something like this, so class A. Let's have this to be class B and class C. Primarily, we have three types. We can also have another one, which is a mixture of either of these two. Uh, let's not focus on that. As of now, what is important to notice is that we don't have multiple inheritance in Java. 